Specifically, since the fall of 2021, we have seen more than 180 such incidents, more in the past two years than in the decade before that. That's nearly 200 cases where PLA operators have performed reckless maneuvers or discharged chaff or shot off flares or approached too rapidly or too close to U.S. aircraft, all as part of trying to interfere with the ability of U.S. forces to operate safely in places where we and every country in the world have every right to be under international law. The examples released by the department today may each look different, whether in terms of the distance between the lawfully operating U.S. asset and the PLA asset engaged in coercive and risky behavior, or in terms of how exactly the PLA asset behaves in any given interaction. But all of these examples we've released today underscore the coercive intent of the PLA by engaging in these behaviors, particularly in international airspace. And the bottom line is that, in many cases, this type of operational behavior can cause accidents, and dangerous accidents can lead to inadvertent conflict.